Hey guys, how's it going? As many of you who watch my streams may know, I've recently started pitching down the audio on my OC live streams. This is due to Twitch now threatening bans for people who frequently use copyrighted music in the live streams. Obviously, for most people this is fine. Most streamers won't really be affected by this since they can just use copyright for your free music. But obviously for Osu live streamers, we don't really have much choice. The, the music kind of baked into the game and there's no real way around that. So yeah, I've, I've started pitching down the audio. And while this isn't a surefire way of getting around it, hopefully it's enough to kind of avoid any kind of bans or serious punishment. Please don't take this as like a, I won't get banned if I do this, um, because I, I can't guarantee that. But yeah, if you want to know how to do it, um, this is the video for you. I'll go through all of the settings that I use, um, the programs that you need to download, pretty much everything to get you set up and, and get your, your audio pitched down. Okay, so to get this all set up, you're gonna need to download four things. Um, the first of which is this audio router right here. Um, this basically routes all your audio uh, through different channels from different programs to different outputs. Uh, the second of which is this voice meter banana, which kind of does a similar thing, but you can't duplicate. It's, it's a bit complicated. Um, the third of which is, if I just drag my OBS here, um, the third of which is a VST plugin called Pitchproof. And this, this is what you'll actually use to uh, to pitch your audio. And then the fourth one, if I go into playback devices, uh, you'll see this virtual audio cable here. Um, I actually have two. I'm, I'm using one of them, but I have two installed. <laughs> um, but yeah, th those are the programs that you'll need to download to get this all set up. I'll, I'll provide a download links to them all in the in the description below so once you've got the um, virtual audio cable installed that should just appear in your sound devices so if you right click your speaker icon in the bottom right um, go to playback devices that should just appear in this list as a virtual audio cable I've got two here obviously because I've installed two different ones didn't really need to but um, I was testing a lot of things and and playing about so I ended up with two but yeah you do only need the one You'll also want to make sure that your default sound device is set to the voice meter input. The pitch proof isn't actually a program that you install either and the way that you install it is you go to your local disk, go to your program files and then if you don't already have this folder um, just create it. Uh, it's VST plugins and then within there you should just put your pitch proof x64. Um, if you are on 32-bit you will essentially do the same thing but in um, x86 and you'd create the folder in here and do the same thing but with the non 64 bit file once you've done that it should show in your OBS as a VST plugin so with this audio router you don't actually need to install it it's just a you just kind of have the file um, it doesn't install it just opens up like that um, and the first thing that you're gonna want to do is when you open your OSU so if I do that real quick you will see that it shows up in the audio router and then you want to duplicate that to your audio cable, your virtual audio cable. I think I actually used this one. And then you'll see that that's now gone down here to the, to the virtual audio cable. And then if I just duplicate that again um, to my speakers, which is my main output straight to the headphones, um, I will now be able to hear the o Osu audio. Okay. It's worth noting that because this program doesn't actually install, um, it doesn't actually save any settings. So every time you reboot your PC, you'll have to open this up again. Um, every time you open Osu, you'll have to reset the duplication. But the advantage of using this program um, over just using Voice Meter is that this has zero latency. So when you duplicate the audio to go to your headphones, it actually just sends it straight through rather than adding any kind of latency to it. Okay, so with setting up your voice meter, um, the first thing you, you're going to want to do is select your main headphone output onto the A1 here. You also need to set the hardware in input to be the same as you have down here, so your cable input in my case. So yeah, set, set your hardware input to be um, the cable output, the virtual cable. 
and then you want to output that to B2 which is the bananas auxiliary output but it is kind of like a, a bypass it doesn't actually output to anything physical you can just kind of route that to another program and then with the VAIO here on your virtual inputs you're going to want to set A1 and B1 so that sends to this other bypass here which is bypass 1 which will then go to your OBS and then I don't believe you need to set this but for your virtual input that's auxiliary I just set that to B2 I don't think I've actually got anything going through that but later on you can have other things sent to that and you could then pitch those as well if you need to so then for the setting up of the OBS if you go into your settings and audio you'll have a list of your devices here so for the first one I've got set to the voice meter of VAIO the, the virtual output and then for the second one I've got the auxiliary version of that as well which is the, the B2 if I just show you here so B1 is the voice meter VAIO and then the B2 is the auxiliary version down here in the bottom right and then once you've got those set, set your microphone as well obviously um, so that you can have that going through OBS and then down here you will you should now have um, your virtual output your auxiliary virtual output and your microphone um, I've just renamed them so it's a bit easier for me to understand but then if you go to um, on the auxiliary one if you go to click the settings icon click filters and then just go to add VST 2.x plugin and then add the pitch proof in there and then if you open the plugin interface you should have this window um, you just want to set the wet to the absolute highest you don't want any dry um, set the G detune to whatever um, same with the key doesn't really matter and then the pitch is kind of up to you but I guess the more that you apply um, the higher the number um, the better it'll be at avoiding DMCA um, but this kind of sweet spot that I found is minus six um, it doesn't sound too bad but yeah it should still get around DMCA bots I guess I've also found that going too high sounds awful it's not not enjoyable to listen to for long periods of time so I'd advise using minus over the, the positive once you've done all that um, there is one last thing that you'll kind of have to make note of and that's this um, so with everything going through voice meter banana it adds a lot of um, delay because it has to process everything um, send it to the right place it's also got lots of lots of processing built in so it, it ends up desyncing everything so you've, you've got to kind of record yourself speaking um, record yourself playing make sure that your all your sounds sync up make sure that the noise coming in from your microphone syncs up with the hit sounds and, and so on um, just make sure everything's kind of in sync and not not delayed at all and that's pretty much it guys it kind of sucks that we have to do this but i mean <laughs> it is what it is and hopefully this is enough of a kind of get around to to not get banned i guess um, if there's anything that you're unsure about if you have any questions or anything uh, please don't hesitate to drop a comment uh, i'll do my best to reply to any questions i wouldn't say that i'm like a master of this but I guess I did put the time in to kind of work it all out and I might be able to answer some questions. Also, I stream every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 5pm UK time. I do two hours of OSU and then switch to variety afterwards. Um, so yeah, go hit, go hit me up with a follow if you're interested in watching. Um, subscribe on YouTube as well um, since <laughs> it's kind of unsure if we'll be able to continue streaming on Twitch. But yeah, thank you all for watching.